With over 200 research sites and institutions at Columbia University and the entire city of New York at your fingertips, there is no limit to the scientific research opportunities available for Columbia College and engineering students, and so undergraduate admissions invited three students to discuss their research and share how to get involved. Yeah, uh, so I uh, work in two labs in the physics department, uh, both doing condensed matter experiment. Uh, one is the Basso group and the other is the Pasapati group. Um, and in both labs, I'm sort of looking at uh, how uniaxial strain affects correlate, various correlated materials. In one group, we study sort of the electronic properties uh, kind of very physically with uh, scanning tunnel microscopes and transport. In the other, we use uh, nano optics. So I'm really interested in the intersection between people and science and I was interested in doing work on green infrastructure and urban design and how that impacts water quality. So I spent the summer in Brooklyn um, in a lab and in a greenhouse measuring different forms of green infrastructure and how they impact in uh, clean water. So um, over the summer I did a project at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics and I was doing a lot of research in uh, supernova remnants. So I was basically like doing simulations and modeling how a supernova would like evolve over time. And then this year I'm getting started on a particle astrophysics project at Columbia. Uh, so my first year I was really sort of trying out lots of sciences, found I really liked my physics class. Uh, just sort of met up with my physics professor in office hours, a guy I really like named Brian Cole, um, and said, here's this subfield of physics condensed matter I'm really interested in, how could I sort of best get involved sort of outside of class? And he uh, said, all right, so here's three professors doing really great work, you should just shoot them an email and uh, we'll kind of help you sort of get started. And I, I remember that was my first year uh, in the winter time, and by sort of the end of the week, I had already started in Abai's, uh, Abai Paspati's lab, and I've sort of been working there ever since. So. so over the summer, I was interested in being a part of a um, REU program for undergraduates. So I looked a bunch of um, applications online, and I saw a really interesting program called the Urban Water Innovation Network. So I applied to this program and was picked to be one of the eight undergraduate researchers focusing on water quality in America. I was specifically um, placed in the Brooklyn site. So last year, uh, freshman year, I took a course that was just Introduction to Research in Astrophysics, and it was a pass-fail class, no stress, and I learned so much about like what I truly was interested in, which really was like particle astrophysics and dark matter. Um, I never would have realized that without that class. Um, and now this year, I'm taking Intro to Astrophysics and Physics Waves, um, which is really, really important for research. Perfect. Yeah, uh, so I took a fantastic class my first year called Accelerated Physics, um, which was just sort of a huge uh, sort of refresher on sort of mechanics, uh, electricity, magnetism, special relativity, quantum mechanics, sort of all compressed into one giant year long course uh, that was really challenging, spent, took a ton of my time, but also by the time I was done, I felt super well prepared for the rest of my courses here. I also, uh, since then, I've taken a lot of courses specifically in condensed matter, uh, both solid state physics class and uh, condensed matter physics class, sort of preparing me more specifically for my research. Free research. I would say the biggest class was Challenges of Sustainable Development. That was a really great introduction uh, class to basically the economics, policy, and hard science side of sustainability and gave me a wide overview of current approaches we can take um, to make our society more sustainable. So the most useful one by far has been Blue Shift, which is the undergraduate astronomy club on campus. And through there, I met so many other astrophysics majors in school and even non-astro majors who all like done research. Um, we compile places to do research for each other. We give talks on how to find research at Columbia, connect each other with teachers, um, anyone. It's really, really helpful. Um, probably the most useful resource I've had here. Uh, my fir first piece of advice is always just to reach out to people and talk to people. Um, office hours are always a great way to talk to lots of professors in different fields and see sort of what, what different faculty are doing and sort of what the opportunities are. Um, it's also always, you're always free to shoot anyone an email at any given point in time. If you, uh, if you have a professor who you found on sort of the directory who's doing really great work, it's really easy to shoot them an email and 
a lot of times you'll get a response saying, hey, come meet me on, at the end of the week or something like that. So always just good to reach out. Cool, thank you. I would definitely say reach out to professors, um, show your interest, go to office hours, talk to upperclassmen who've done it before because it's super easy to get involved. And if you want to be a part of it, you can totally do it. Columbia has so many research opportunities that the biggest thing is just going out and finding them. It feels very like far away because you don't they're not handed to you on a plate, but they actually are right there. Um, professors are required to work with undergrads, so you can really just find someone if you just shoot them an email, um, you know, show that you know about their work and they'll be more than happy to pick you up. It is so easy. You actually get to choose, you know, be picky with your research because you have so many options. They want to work with you. So really like be picky, do the projects that you want. You'll find them here.